welcome back to the Preacher Plays Hogwarts Legacy. I came out here at Lumos at night where I had started this program and now enchanted candles have appeared. I've been trying to figure out this little uh, side quest for a while. And uh, the candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Yep, absolutely. So now I'm at least be able, going to be able to finish this one. And I know exactly where it's going, so I can just probably hurry there. Oh, it just kind of rushed ahead there, didn't it? A couple of dark wizards over there chatting it away. Had to light the wand right there by the edge. And, uh... Make me go around? Okay. I was going to just climb up, but I will follow. The uh, treasure must be nearby. It is, yes, the very same hill that I've stood here for an hour over. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Uh, indeed. And I think this... Treasure hunting suits me. Treasure Seeker's Scarf. Okay, Ghost of Our Love. Very good. And I got 400 gold, which is great because I've been spending money like a drunken sailor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, as a matter of fact, let's see what quest is next. Shall we? Quest, quest, quest. There we go. I could continue Dedalian Keys or Flight Test. Purchase a broom. Let's start with demanding delivery. I'm going to get some gold. And... Once I've got the gold, I should be able to go buy a broom. So let's go do that. I bet you those two are assembled right next to each other just for such an occasion. Let's travel. Another adventure, are we? Okay. We are here in town. Let's go in to... Yes. I'm spending some oh, time yeah. and money here. In the market for potions, are we? You bet I am. Mr. Piven. You need help with the delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. Cambridge, huh? What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. Okay. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. <laughs> but how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. <laughs> she sounds annoying, but I'm happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. Yeah, we should. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Maybe I'll get that benefit. Um, I am assuming that once I walk outside, I'll be able to see the path and let's figure out where we are. Oh, golly gee, Willikers. We are going the long way down. Let's go, uh, not to Hogwarts, sorry. World. World map. Where, oh, where am I going? Oh! We are going all the way down there. Now, this would be far more fun with a broom. But you know what? It's fine. We're going to unlock a couple of pathways. Including a chance to go by Ottenshire. So, let's do it. And uh, who knows what I'll be able to find off in the countryside. I hear... Revelio. Something flying by, I thought. Yeah, no? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, maybe I'll be able to uh, take on some enemies while I'm there. What do you think? And if I do that, I should have no trouble whatsoever getting... Whoop. There's another quest. Oh, that's the quest. That's the other quest for the broom. Unless I should get the broom. Maybe? No, let's do this one on foot. I feel like I'm going to learn more about the world doing stuff on foot than I would on the broom anyhow. Besides, this is an area I've never been to, and that makes it a little bit exciting. I kind of like the flu powder fast travel system. I think it's pretty... Uh, not only well within 
uh, the realm, obviously within the realm of the game, but uh, in the, the Hogwarts whatever universe, but still, oh, oh, well, that's that's rather interesting. Is that where I'm headed? No, I couldn't possibly be. Eh, well, maybe it is. Now to the right would be going to Hogwarts, but we are going to detour, and I think we are going to take. Yeah, I think we are. Oh, look here. Akio. Let's go ahead and get some moonstone. Who knows what I'll want to be able to produce. All right. Nice path. Revelio. Hogsmeade Station. Well, I had no intention of coming to Hogsmeade Station, but kind of cool that it's here. Hmm. Should we go inside real quick? Oh, can I not climb? Here we can. I, I can't go in. Oh, I can't go in. Um, uh, never mind then, I guess, right? How do I? <laughs> no, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Come on then, what you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What, I bet? Your bag, it's wriggling. What you got in there? <laughs> not rats, I hope. No, it's a niffler! What do I want with a niffler? He's sharp. Stole from me, he did. He's robbed by a niffler. I, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. I want one. Uh, uh, I if must... You're have... wasting my time. Ow! No, I would he's never waste your... <laughs> little... <laughs> All right. Anyhow. Anyhow, let's, let's continue on our course. I love being able to overhear flavor text. Um, this way, I guess? Oh, and hey, there is a... Uh, let's see. That's probably one of them. All right, come here. Let's let's light this up and see. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Got some mallow sweet. Let's throw it out here. Uh... All right, so. Incendio. Am I gonna have to incendio this? Yes. All right, do this one too. And where's the other one? Revelio. Is it, it can't just be those two. I just refuse to believe it's only those two. There's gotta be more. Ah. Incendio. All right. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Uh, why are they? Hmm. It, you have unused talent points waiting in your field guide. I know, but I'm trying to figure out why these are going up and down now. Okay. That one's tall. That one is halfway down, and the other one way over there was way short. Incendio. So, and then, can I get over here before that one does? Is it a time thing? I don't know. Did I get them all three? No. no. I don't think I did. Hmm. All right. Rebellio. There's one, two, and three. Is there another one around the corner or something? Hold on. Let me... Let me see. No. No? Okay. And I'm sure fire is what I'm supposed to be doing here. Incendio. Okay. And race over to this one. It's got to be something with the order. Got to be something with the order of them. That's that. Settled. Oh. It worked. Yeah, I upgraded my... 
upgraded my Merlin. I might as well talk to this fellow since uh, since this is uh, a new area. Hi, Leopold Babcock. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? No. I like to explore. Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. I'm sure you the are. name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. Mm. Now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I, would I agree. wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. Mm -hmm. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. Okay. What do you have for sale? Let's see what he see has. See if there's something you need. And most of all, let's see if there's something I can sell. I don't think there is. Okay. Oh. Now, I don't need to buy any of that. What do we have? Or that. 300. Oh, golly. Interest. And a mandrake. A magical plant that shrieks when on earth. Mandrake can be used to stun and harm enemies in a radius. Purchased at Dogweed and Deathcap. That's what I need. Increases the drinker's spell damage. I got that. And still 100. So, no bargains. That's been a pleasure. I... Bet it has. Okay, no bargains there, but at least we got a uh, a Merlin spot thing done. I can appreciate that. Well, let's uh, let's cross the tracks and make our way. Make tracks. Let's make tracks. Hmm, I see some bad guys down on the right, or some enemies of some sort. I don't know. Let's let's come back up here. I don't want to. Yep, yep, yep. Cross over. Oh. A little bag of money. Incendio. No. Accio. <laughs> Wrong button. All right. I guess we're going to run along the crossway here. What a fascinating... Oh, man, look at that. Look at that waterfall. You know, and it actually doesn't look that bad. And you can see the water, the rainbow from the water. Gosh, that's really, really cool. All right. In fact, can I see over? Oh! I... That is a large batch of frogs. What in the world? Uh, yeah. That's going to be a thing later on. I wouldn't expect climbing up here would be allowed, but so be it. Oh, and what is over there? Is that the Forbidden Forest off to the right? I think probably. I don't know whether there's Revelio. anything in all of this other than just this would have been faster with a broom. Yes, I know it would have been faster with a broom, but what is the fun in that? I ask you. Akio. Uh, can't can't reach that last one, and that's okie dokie. Another one? Well, I know what that means. Merlin trial. Let's try a Merlin trial. Let's figure it out. Hope I have enough mallow sweet leaves for these. I may have to buy some more. Oh, uh, this is another one. Revelio. Lumos. Yes, but what do I do with the moths? Do I take them? Rebellion. Wow. You talk about frame drops. I'm getting... Um, are they going to hover around the stones here, or around this here? Uh, is that is that really what they're supposed to be doing? Revelio. What do I see? What do I see? Oh, what's this? Oh. Hmm. Now, how do I get... There's another one down there. Oh, these are far. Ah. Uh. 
All right. Well, let's. Lumos. Let's go ahead and take this one. But then, how do I get down there? Easily. Can I just jump? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Come on. There we go. Well, same as before. Revelio. Oh, there was. Lumos. There was another one. Where was it? It was over. Revelio. I know I saw it. Ah, ah. What do we have here? And there's another Merlin trial thing down there. Hmm. This seems like I'm getting way off the path. All right, hold on. Uh, Lumos. Let's come over here. Somebody's dreaming of a better world for me. Okay. And here's another. Oh, that's interesting. Rebellio. It's underwater. There's one here, and then there's something over there. Which means this ball probably has to go in that one, doesn't it? Can I activate two of these at the same time? And moreover, can I climb back up if I do? Well, let's try it. Oh. How many more Mallow Sweets do I have? Hold on a second. Inventory. Um, Where is Mallow Sweet? Oh, here. I only have six left. Yeah, okay. Um, in fact, can I just... Can I Akio that ball? Come here. Come here. Um, standing in the water. Akio! Uh, come on. Come on. No? No? All right, I had to climb. I was thinking maybe I could just do it the hard way. Or the easy way, rather. Rather than the hard way. All right. Uh, maybe I have to push? Maybe. We'll see. All right, let's see. Let me try. Yeah. Um, let me do... Depulsa. Going in there? Going in there? No. Okay. Uh. Foolish. Foolish to think that it would be that easy, right? Not so tricky after all, Merlin. All right. And then I just need to climb the hill and light that third stone for the other one. Nice. Nice. Nice little puzzles. I appreciate it. They're all just a little bit different. Well, except for this one is identical to the other one with the glowing fireflies, but they're further apart. Okay. Revelio. Well, if we're talking beasts, it's the Nifra that's the real commodity. Surely you agree? Um, let's see here. Can I? Hold on. Let's do this. I want... I want that. And I think I want Expelliarmus. Yeah. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. Levios. Someone get... All right. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Oh, I don't think he made it. Revelio. Yeah, no, he didn't make it. Okay. Back to... Back to... Who's it that? Revelio. What do we have here? Little man. 
I don't know what you are. I can't unlock you either. All right, so there's... Where is... Ah, over here. All right. Lumos. Let's do Lumos and... I'm up here. Um, come on. I guess... How do I get up there? All right, now. There we go. Merlin himself would be proud. Aha! Four out of six. Merlin trials completed. We can try to continue our journey then, right? Wish that I could... Wish that I could unlock that thing. And this thing. What do we got here? Ashwinder eggs. Yeah, I'll collect that. Lumos. Nope. Depulsa. That is the wrong <laughs> spell. <laughs> Let's try that again. Akio. Alright. I'm up here. And... Mora Mare Road. Okay, well, I don't know what those are, but are, are there... Are there is there anything in here? No? Okay, well... Got got rid of the poacher problem. Anyhow, somehow I've got to get back up there. And I think these stepping stones is going to be the way to do it. Okay. Very good, and I think this is pretty much going to enable me a straight climb. Yes. Very good. I like this. I like this a lot. Come on. Upsy doozy. And up. Now, what is going to be the easiest way for me to get up here? Rebellion. Is there anything over here? No. Love these great big granite boulders. Love it. I think I'm almost up. <laughs> I'm almost up. And... Ah. Akio. Come here. There we go. Well, we found that. Let's continue on down the road. Hopefully she doesn't complain about me taking too long, right? Revelio. Nothing nothing along the way? I'll bet you I'll bet you there's plenty along the way. There's something up there. Uh let's see. How do I get up there from here? Oh, big spider over there. Okay. I know I saw... Ah, here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Lyondale's not half as tough as it sounds. What do we got? What do we got? Oh! Oh, I don't know what this is. But, uh, I'm guessing that fire... Incendio. Levioso. No. I didn't always like a polite battle. Huh. Who is here? Arbenshire, Keenbridge. Yeah, I mean... All well and good, but we're not going in that direction right now, so... Akio. Now, was there? Levioso. Thornback Shooter. I don't know what that is. And I don't want it. Is there? Oh, nope. No healing or anything was left over. Protego. Stupid one. 
I guess they were on the path. 22 of 40. All right. There's going to be spiders around here, huh? Yeah, it's all right. Revelio. Arbenshire. I guess I'm going this way. Now what? Now we're down to under a thousand yards, I guess. I don't know. Meters? Miles? No, I don't know. Okay, daffodils. That's what those are. But why are they trumpet? I mean, little trumpeting flowers. That's what they are. Yeah. Revelio. Nothing, nothing magical in here that I need to care, my, care about? I guess not. I'm kind of surprised I can't do anything with the... Whoop, 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 whoop. I wonder if he wants some help. What happened to the guy? Revelio. Can I not? Well, did the guy lose out? He must have. Alright, well. It wasn't for lack of trying. What direction? Akio. Get enough moonstone to kill a small army. I'm probably gonna need a ton of it though at some point, don't you think? I would expect. Revelio. Alright, let's go ahead and run. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Well, I mean I know I'm supposed to be going. But I can't help it. Let's go. Let's go. Betting on the dragon the best decision I've made yet. Betting on the dragon fight, huh? Levioso. Akio. Your poaching days are over. Uh yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. Now, I don't know what I got to do with these. The Byzantine beret. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Yes, you do. And here we go. Now, what are we gonna do with these, huh? Lumos. Levioso! Incendio! What do they do? Accio! Hmm. What do you think? What are we going to do with these? Lumos. Hmm. Are they... Are they broken? What are we going to do here? They're not broken, are they? Repairer. No. Akio. No. Do we have to push him over? The Bolsa. Also, no. Okay, listen. They're, they're little green thingies. Um Revelio. Do you see do we have to throw some more mallow leaves on them or something? I see. Just trying to look at the relief carving that's in it. I am not really sure what to do with this one. No. Um, let's see. Do I have a different 
Levioso won't do anything, will it? Levioso! No, I didn't think so. Um, Reparo doesn't do anything. How about Defendo? Let's try it. Defendo! No, no, that didn't seem to do anything. I'm... I'm a little... A little unsure what to do with this one. Okay, let's go look at the symbols. Let's look at the symbols. You got, uh, you got four emeralds and one emerald with a swirl. Hmm. And then, kind of the same on all four sides. But I can't quite figure out what these things need. Yeah, it's not... Repara. Capulso. Levioso. No, I can't figure this one out. Let me... Incendio. Yeah, I didn't think so. I... Let me think about this one. Well, I looked at those stones for a very long time and never could figure out what to do with them. I tried every spell I had on them, and uh, I'll have to come back to them. That's going to be something that I revisit later. But nighttime has fallen, and I'm Revelio. hoping a couple of enemies might pop up as a result. I did kill a couple of spiders while I was, or, uh, yeah, spiders while I was walking around. Plenty of lacewing, excuse me, lacewing flies. That's good. And here we go. Whoop. All right, let's continue the journey. Not too bad. Revelio. Nothing, nothing whatsoever going on out here. We're going to hang it right. I guess. Oh, look, a cart. Grab some lace wings on the way. Oh, a self-driving cart. I wonder if the, uh, I wonder if that goblin is here. Oh. A dark mongrel, huh? Levioso. Accio. <laughs> Got any more of them there? Defeat mongrels. I did it. Revelio. Is that all that we have? Oh. All right. Oh, and another one. Well, I'm going to go activate it. I'm going to have to get some more of those mallow leaves or whatever they're called. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Hopefully it's something that I can actually solve. Um, Revelio. Ah. Something down here that needs to be, what, destroyed? Incendio. Oh, wait. Roasted another cut grass do Doug Bong. Doug Bong? Revelio. <laughs> oh, and another one over there. Okay. Um Incendio. Uh, these are all gonna reset again, but there's another Doug Bong over here and Doug Bog. All right, come here. Potato. Stupid. All right. Did that? Did that kill him? Slice a dangling goo ball. Slice one, huh? Hold on. Uh, which means I should. 
Defender. All right. Levioso, Protego. <laughs> All right. Well, that was kind of an intriguing encounter. Slice one. All right. And a leech. Now, so... Where did I see? There was one here, one there, and one way over there. Um... Defendo. Wrong? <laughs> I need... I need fire. Ah, wrong Revelio. buttons. And I can't shoot. Incendio. I shoot fire that far. Okay. So... If I go in order of height, the one over there looks like it needs to be opened or lit first, right? I mean, some of these... Um, can I light it from here? No, of course not. All right, all right. Let's run over to this one, then. Incendio. All right, and then where's this one? No. Uh, it can't be short one first, and then this one, and then the other. No, because then they all go out. Huh. Well, let me just see here. Let me just see what I've got to do on this. Let's cross. Let's cross the lake, river. Cross the river. Come on. Is this a vendor? I guess I got to go talk to the vendor too. Oh gosh, I'm getting distracted by everybody. It's him, Arn. Why don't you have a little peruse? Oh, how much are these? hundred piece. Yeah, I really don't have anything that I want to sell. I got that nice fedora, though. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. In Mormare robes. Well appointed. Hmm. Those are all I appreciate upgrades. you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Yeah, I'm going to swap out some stuff. All right. Well, appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? I will, but first I've got to figure Rebellion. out this, this Merlin thing, and I don't know whether I need a flame shooting spell. Yeah, because look, I can see all three of them here. Incendio. And it's going to start sinking immediately and go under. And I tried doing this before. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, gosh, there's a second one that I'm going to have to come back to. I am going to have to finish this delivery at some point today. So, let's, uh, let's continue our journey out to the road. And uh, actually, right there by Arn <laughs> would have been a continuation of the journey. I am going to come back and do some of these uh, Merlin ones later. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I've been trying to do this delivery for quite a while, and we're not there yet. So I'm kind of drawn and driven to doing that. Although there's a shack here. Oh, and a couple of mongrels. They, once again... Levioso. <laughs> Levioso. All right. Can I not climb that wall? All right, that was a little bug. Um, how about now? How about now? Let's go.
At least I'm getting some experience points from doing them. Some of those, right? All right. I get this and I get my broom. A lot of these trips become faster. Oh, gosh. Somebody's house is here. Whose house is here? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Definitely got to figure it out. Got to go visit. Got to go visit the house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Actually, I really want to do these things. Rebellion. And, you know, the game, it just seems to reward exploring so well. Unidentified outfit item. Okay, well, I'll have to take that back to the room of requirement. All right. Let's see what we got here. Probably, okay, good. It's a locked cabin. All right. We'll come back to the cabin. <laughs> Revelio. What do we have here? All right. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Scarecrow is uh, doing his thing there. All right. Let's race. I, I love the world. It feels alive. The, the randomness of the enemies, the, the wolves, the spiders. Yuck. Even the spiders. Nothing. I could get up there and get some lacewing flies, but I'm going to skip them. Can you believe it? I'm going to go right past them. Who would a thunk it? All right, here we come upon a little, a little village. What do we have? Revelio. I hear a bell ring. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Well, yeah. Just to the right, there should be a. There is. Where's it at? It appeared outside, I guess. All right. Gray Highland attire. This place is almost making me nauseous. More Gray Highland. Ah, here it is. The Tilted House. Yes, yes it is. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Right. All right. Well, we're going to make it to... Always late, that Pippin. Revelio. All right, we're going to make it to a couple of different spots here. Ah, come on, can I... Can I not... That Pippin should have been here by now. Yeah, yeah, but he sent me instead. Hold on. Oh, that's another one of those balls. I can't. I want to. All right, I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck. Let's finish this particular thing. Hi, Fatima. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Um, why did you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. That doesn't make sense. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. Okay. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Um, why? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Drink an invisibility potion. Okay, well... That should be right there. Come on. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? 
perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Um, okay. I'm curious about this. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers ah. have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Oh, she sells. What do you have for sale? Let's see what she has what for sale. What are we looking for today? Uh, I don't know. Still a hundred. Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, I have some. But it's nice to know that all of those things can be had at various places. Grey Highland attire. Let's go ahead and sell it. This will do just fine. I don't know what Thank this you. is, but I will figure it out. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. Revelio. Uh, you got a box behind you that I'm going to go, you know, check out. And it's a potion recipe book. Oh, that I want to look at. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's take a look at here. It's going to be in the inventory. Um, a book of potion recipes clearly written by someone who knows the way around a cauldron. Hmm. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. I can't. I can't read them. Okay. Curious. Is that going to be Rebellion. a? Is that going to be a quest item? There's got to be, also, there has to be a, uh, a place around here for this. Ah, uh, I think I see. I think I see. It's over here. Okay. Here it is. Merlin's Trial. Could it be a Merlin Trial? Let's see if I can solve this one. I see the pit right over there. Okay, I thought I saw the pit right over there. Revelio. Okay, there's the ball. What do I do with it? Oh, Keenbridge. Good. Um Well, let's let's see if we can figure this one out real quick. Oh. Now the gate's open. Akio. Um Golly, hold on. Oh, can I roll it right over this? Hold on. Come on. Roll. Maybe I gotta push it? Maybe I gotta push it. Um. Depulsa. Oh, I would hate to run over somebody. But where do I put it? Rebellion. This is the grand question right here. Does it go in this pit right here? No, that's a that's a dugout canoe. Never mind. <laughs> hold on there. Um hold on. Hold on, let me see. Is there anything? Hmm. Right there. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Alright, come here. Akio! Roll with me. Can you roll with me? No, you can't. Okay. Levioso. Can't lift it. Let me try to push it into place. Devolso. Okay. Akio. Come this way a little bit. I kind of doubt this is where you want it, but come on, a little bit more. Come on. All right. Well, this is clearly not where it goes. Hmm. I should figure out what else is around here real quick. Revelio. Paper over there. 
Field Guide Ginger Root. Barkeep in Cambridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and keep them imbibing a bit longer. All right, well, that's... Um, something beneath me there. Brown leather fingerless gloves. I don't, I don't quite need all of those. I mean, it's nice that you can walk around, that you can uh, grab a drink here and there, I suppose. Um, let's see. Revelio. There is a paper over here. I see the outline. Beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. Unidentified item. And, uh... Revelio. Yep, there it is. Basket weave black. Okay. Um, I think we got some dark art stuff going on around here, don't you? Kind of what it looks like there. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Yeah, me neither. Uh, although I personally love it. Oh, wait. The ball's back over there. <laughs> so where does it go? Revelio. That's the question. Where does it go? Is there a... I mean, I'm not seeing... Whimsical nightcap. No, I don't think so. Hi, kids. Striking turquoise coat. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure where that goes. And it feels like... Oops, it feels like that's something that I should be able to figure out. I imagine how I'd have felt as a boy if I had Um... I want to run around a little bit and see if I can find a spot for that ball to sit in. Hold on. I found it. It's on the other side of the bridge. So let's go get that ball and make it move. I think the only thing to do is push it. So that is my plan. Then I can at least call another one of these finished, right? Depulsa. All right. All right, keep going. Can't use the pulsar is or the pulsar, whatever it's called, is much stronger. Oh, 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 oh! It's like a place right out of a storybook. Yes, with a. What are you up to now? The pulsar. I'm just playing soccer. It makes me wonder if that other ones that I couldn't figure out, how wide ranging did I need to go for the answer? Because the answer's not right up. Come on, just go in, just go in. Depulsa. Okay, come on, get in there. Get in there, get in, get in there. There we go. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. One more and I'll have five of six or six of six, so. There we go. And with that, I think it's reasonably a good idea for me to warp back all the way, all the way to Hogsmeade. I will see you there. Okay. Here Made it. We back. have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. How about Have money? a good look around. I need money, Mr. Pip. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, she's certainly difficult. I think that's a reasonable thing to say. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Uh, gosh, I'd like to ask for an additional fee, but I'm not going to do that. that it was, was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> 
Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Uh, how about I didn't realize oh, that? I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Well, yeah, I didn't. Quest complete, demanding delivery. 300 gold. Hopefully that's enough to, uh, to carry me through getting a broom, because that is the goal. So, let's go see if we can end with a trip to... Here we go. Let's go buy ourselves a broom. That's what I came for. That's why I did that long delivery. And this will make future deliveries a little less long. Unless, of course, I decide to walk because walking is half the fun. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. Did I see a... Yes, I did. Spit which is sporting needs. Run by the amiable Alby Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alby himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Deal? All right, let's see how terrible much you're going to charge. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Oh, golly. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. Okay. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds like a salesman. Um, disrupted trade routes? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. I'd right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. All right. Um, tell me what else you, you mind can. sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew one's darker reputation. Mm. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. That sounds very strange to me. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, let's see what, what are we, we looking for today. Mind. I have no idea. Can I sell you something that I don't need? Oh. It's got higher defense. Um, those don't. Nice doing business with you. And. Get rid of that. Those things I'm not going to get rid of just yet. Let me figure this out. Yeah, we can sell that fedora and get an extra 60 bucks. That'll come in handy. All right, let's see what we got here. 600 bucks, 600 bucks, 600 bucks, 600 bucks, 600 bucks. Okay. Well, I've got the money for one of these. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. The broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. No. A moon trimmer finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. Maybe. Wind wisp. Stylish broom with a light touch. Quite literally. A U Weaver. That's not the one he told me about. Didn't he say something about a U one? Oh, this is the one. <laughs> a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Okay, well, I kind of like the saddle bags on the back of that one. Silly as it may be. Um, you know, why not? That this item is of the highest quality. Oh. 
Okay, we can actually preview all of them. Good. Oh, interesting. Ember Dash. Perfect room for those with a fiery temperament. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, don't think I like that one. Eh, where's that one? That item is of the highest and, quality. And, uh, I guess it's going to be the u -Weaver, just because I can. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Sure I will. And now we wait. Now we wait. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Oh, that would have been you nice to know. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go uh, on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas price. for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. Uh huh. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. Gotcha. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I want to ask some questions. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh... Some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. Gotcha. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. <laughs> and I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Maybe so. Sounds worth a try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. I knew there'd be money The involved. time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. You bet. Uh, I think I like that one there. I <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Indeed. Revelio. Uh, you got any money there? Or free brooms? Decorous best school uniform. Well, that's a thing. All right, well, let's, uh, let's on out of here. And I think I can now, how do I get on the broom? Uh, ba -da 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 -da. how do I do that from here? You know? I don't rightly know, but I got to go speak with Imelda Rise. So that is what I will do. And that is what I will do later, the next time, maybe, right? I don't know. I kind of want to keep on recording. Would you mind following me to the Quidditch pitch? And we'll see what Imelda has for us here. Uh, what's going on here? Summoner's Court match one. Um... That's something I could do later. Can I get to what's the what's the 
This looks like the closest one. Okay. Maybe I've got to learn here how to mount my broom, even though I know how to mount my broom. I mean, it was just it was just B earlier, but or I'm missing an obvious. Wait a minute. Uh, it's not what. It, oh, now it's B. Oh gosh. Um, couldn't do it inside the store. That was the problem. You have entered an arena that allows flight. Press L, B, and B to tap the broom on your tool wheel. Okay. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Hi, Imelda. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Yes. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Fair enough. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. <laughs> only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. I have my Slytherin doubts. versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test mm. stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. She's a bit full of herself, but let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. It'll happen the first time, but that's okay. Uh, Made it. So far, so good. All right, hold on. Oh, just barely made that. You get a little speed boost from those, don't you? Whoa. This is rather fun. It is. But uh, I got to come up a little bit. All right, hit the balloons. Oh, boy. It's a little bit awkward to control. It doesn't quite control... The way I think it Excellent. should. It's a bit fidgety. A bit fidgety. All right. Right around the uh, tracks there. Did it. All right. All right. All right. I uh, don't want to miss this. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, not bad, not bad. Brilliant. Very good. I think it's a far cry from brilliant, but I'm willing to try. Made it. All right, and go down. One more ring. Or is that the end of it? Oh. Did anyone else see that? New best time. Well, not too shabby. All right. <laughs> Little Miss Full of Herself's going to complain. Ugh, that's not. You must have cheated. You. Ugh. Fine. You won. 
don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Fair enough. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, gosh, I really want to say that. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. I believe you. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's jewel is to beat. So does this leaderboard Ruby while body I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Are these um are these other online players? Is this is this across the game? I'm just a little curious. Or are these built in? I don't know. I don't know. Uh I I especially because I beat her time and I'm number two. I'm sitting here pointing at the screen, you can't see what I'm doing there. But let's uh I'm not gonna do that right now. I do want to return to Mr. Weeks, and I think then, once we figure out what he has to say, we will uh, finish up the class. So let's go to Hogsmeade, and uh, we are going. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm All right, well, we made it back to Hogsmeade. Let's see. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Perfect. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? Mm. I shall get to work immediately. Okay. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Ooh. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate that. the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Sounds very good. Well, hmm. how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. We've definitely tried to do our very best here. And there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. I am the creature. This is Kyrex Ecclesia. We've made some points and I will see you the next time.